Exterior moldings can transform an ordinary structure into something grand. The ancient Greeks were the first to demonstrate this with elaborate carved moldings on temples. Today there's no need to spend long hours carving moldings. Fabricated synthetic versions are now available to give a structure instant curb appeal. Architectural foam moldings trick the eye. They look like stone or wood, and it's all a carefully crafted illusion to impress the neighbors or passers-by. They start with a big block of foam. It's expanded polystyrene, or EPS. They activate a hot wire foam cutter. Controlled by computer software, it melts its way through the thick foam block to make very precise and intricate cuts. This computerized hot wire is cutting out pieces of architectural trim for windows or doors. It carves in an economical way to minimize waste. It's work done, the hot wire rises, leaving a trail of smoke from the burning process. A worker then pushes out the moldings. Each piece of architectural trim is two and a half meters in length. The hot wire now carves an elaborate fluted column, one half at a time. This is a Roman style column. Once carved in stone, it's now being replicated in foam. And this old world look can now be achieved with minimal physical effort. To make an arch, they use a hot wire shape instead of a computerized straight wire. They position it in front of a curved piece of foam. Rubber drive wheels push the foam through the hot wire. These wheels have been preset to accurately steer the cut. The result is an arch that will be a perfect match for the linear trim produced earlier, so they'll fit together seamlessly. They use a carved foam wedge to emulate the keystone, a piece used in stone arches to lock parts together at midpoint. A worker now wraps the cut foam moldings in fiberglass mesh. Pre-infused with glue, the mesh instantly adheres to the foam. This mesh adds strength to the molding, and it also makes it crack resistant. Next, cement flows into a hopper and onto the moldings below. The moldings are driven through a template with the same contours to apply the cement evenly on the surface and the sides. This is no ordinary cement. It's a pre-engineered mix fortified with a special resin to create a durable coating for the mesh-covered moldings. A worker then transfers the moldings to a rack to cure for a minimum of 24 hours before getting another coating of cement this one with a much finer texture. It's much trickier to apply cement to an arch-shaped piece of molding, so they take a more hands-on approach. The employee scoops the cement onto the meshed foam semicircle. He then moves the custom-made template over the molding, instead of pushing the molding through it. It's a better way to evenly distribute the cement on a curved surface. After carving, meshing, and two layers of cement, this arch is now ready. For smaller orders, they also apply the cement manually. There's no need for a machine setup when there are only one or two columns to be coated. Guided by a track on the side of a table, the worker slowly draws the template down the Roman-style column to apply the cement to the foam and make it look like stone. The second layer gets extra attention. He rubs the cement into the grooves for complete coverage and then pulls the template across once again, this time lightly skimming the surface to produce a finer texture. And now these moldings are ready to add detail and definition to a structure.